Welcome to News Bites with a Difference. I'm Doug Giesbrecht, and the news is different because we can all pray together and make a difference together with the true Lord, Jesus Christ, the greatest man living. First today in Belgrade, former Bosnian Serb leader Radovan Karadzic practiced alternative medicine and wrote articles for a lifestyle magazine under a pseudonym while eluding police in Belgrade. Karadzic, 63, was arrested Monday after eluding officials for more than a decade and stands accused of masterminding Europe's worst massacre since the Second World War. The killing in 1995 of 8,000 Muslim men and boys in Srebrenica. Also on Tuesday, a judge in Belgrade ordered the wartime Bosnian Serb leader to be transferred to the United Nations War Crimes Tribunal in The Hague to face trial. Karadzic is accused of genocide, war crimes, crimes against humanity, and other atrocities relating to the 95 massacre, and other acts against Muslim, Croat, and other non-Serb civilians in Bosnia and Herzegovina during the 92-95 war. Karadzic has three days till Friday to appeal the ruling, and his lawyer said he will launch the process to fight extradition on the last day, Friday, to thwart authorities' wishes for his immediate transfer. Let's go to prayer together. We come in Jesus' name, Father God, thanking you that you are a God of justice and mercy. And we pray, Father, that you allow the immediate transfer of Radovan Karadzic to the Hague. Father, don't allow this to be halted in any way. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Also today in Israel, a resurgence in the number of Jews who believe in Jesus is getting a lot of attention. Many leaders say it's the strongest growth since the time of Jesus and that the Messianic movement could be on the brink of a great revival. This is the first time we've seen Israeli society in general being open to consider who Yeshua is, said Messianic leader Asher and Traitor. This is a real miracle, and there's beginning to be grace and favor with us in the land. Although Jesus and the early disciples were Jewish, for nearly 2,000 years the gospel has been viewed as a religion mainly for Gentiles. Even the name Jesus, or Yeshua, has been a forbidden word among many Jews. But in the last few years, Messianic leaders in Israel say something important is happening. Tel Aviv pastor Avi Mizrachi said, I believe with all my heart, after we have come back to the land, we are seeing the Lord, the Holy Spirit, remove the veil from the eyes of the Jews, and more and more Jews are realizing. Let's pray concerning this. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the mighty Yeshua, we come, Father God, thanking you for these signs of your moving in Israel. And we pray, Father, that you continue this outpouring and revival movement in your way, in your time, for your glory in Israel. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Also today, in Tokyo, a strong earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 6.8 struck off the northern Japanese coast early Thursday. That's Japan time. But prompted no immediate reports of injuries or other damage. The offshore earthquake caused strong shaking in northern Japan, but there was no danger of a tsunami or seismic waves from the 12.26 a.m. quake, which occurred about 75 miles below the ocean surface. No abnormalities had been defected, detected at the nearest nuclear power plant in the area, which con continued controlled operations. Last month, a 7.2 magnitude earthquake struck sparsely populated rural areas in northern Japan killing at least 12 people, leaving 10 others missing, and injuring more than 300. Let's go to prayer again. 
Father God, we call out in Jesus' name, thanking you for warning us that in these last hours of time, however many years that may take, in these last hours of time, Father, there would be earthquakes, there would be volcanoes, there would be wars and rumors of wars, there would be famines and pestilence. Father, we ask you to spread the news that salvation is available through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, we ask you to protect people and businesses from these earthquakes in Japan, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me for News with a Difference. As you lift these bites to God in your private prayer time, may Holy Spirit lead you and Father God bless you. We produce new bites regularly and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow in cyberspace with news as it happens.